Welcome back guys and today I'm going to be telling you why you should or shouldn't buy the Motorola Moto X4 in 2020. Let's get into it. This is Motorola's Moto X4, released in September of 2017. It's got a glass back with a dual camera setup and a front display size of 5.2 inches with bezels and a button. Surprisingly for being a budget phone, it has a water resistance of up to 5 feet for 30 minutes. When this phone was released, it cost about $400, but you can easily find one for less than $100 in 2020. On the right side, we got the volume up, the volume down, and the power button. On the top, we got the microphone and the SD card slash SIM card reader. On the bottom, you have the headphone jack and the charging port. And the last side actually has nothing on it. Performance. In general, this phone performs pretty well, especially for its price range. There are some hiccups, especially when you try opening something like the camera while running another app. In general, gaming is pretty much what you would assume. You can play some decent games, but not anything like Fortnite or Call of Duty. It does work for games like Brawl Stars and some driving apps like Need for Speed. One of my favorite things about all Motorola phones is the Motorola Actions. You have things like three finger screenshot, two quick chops to turn on and off flashlight, shake to open camera, and my personal favorite on this is the one button navigation system. Even though it's got a button, I really like this feature, and it seems to work pretty well. However, I feel like things like shake for camera may be outdated because on newer phones, all you have to do is double tap the power button and then it opens up camera, like on my LG B40. It's also nice to see they added an SD card slot because this phone doesn't have a lot of storage. On to camera. As I said before, this camera has a dual setup with a normal lens and a wide lens. The normal lens seems to be a decent lens, however the wide one is very low quality in my opinion. Honestly, I think most of this is based on the software and not as much on the cameras themselves. This is pretty much the same thing with the front facing camera. It is a little bit better than I would have thought, but it's still not the greatest. Because of this, I was still able to capture good quality photos, they just occurred less often than I would have liked them to. In general, this phone has a very good look, especially for being 3 years old. I love the dual camera setup as it's very unique. It seems to do very well on things like gaming, however this phone is really lacking on the camera, especially on the software side. The Motorola Actions are one of my favorite features on this phone, however because you can get this on all Motorola phones, it's hard to justify buying this phone just because of them. I can't say that I would buy this phone in 2020, and this is mainly because I feel like budget phones are kind of going out. This is because you can buy cheap flagship phones from a couple years ago for a low price. So I think you shouldn't buy this phone in 2020. Thanks for watching.